and welcome. Welcome to our Monday night healing soiree where we come as beloveds of God the Supreme before the healing physician, the Cosmic Christ. I would like first before we begin to light a candle not only for peace and for unity but for the healing of mind, body and spirit for each one of you who've joined me. And if you have a candle nearby, I invite you to light that as well. So let us embrace the cosmic Christ, the physician of our soul, and experience his loving kindness. In the name of all that is, I bless you and welcome you. Let us listen now to this beautiful song, Loving Kindness.
as we embrace loving kindness, let us ask ourselves, do we allow the breath of God's loving kindness come into our heart? Or are we still in a place of fear? I invite you now to come to the table of miracles where the cosmic Christ, the physician of souls, cares deeply about your needs and mine. And we both know this to be true because he says to us, if you are hurting, call on me. If you are in need, come to me. This healing soiree is not about the words I use. It's about allowing the gift of love, healing love, from the mystical heart of God, come and touch you. So let us relax now. Let us be still in the presence of God. Not a vengeful God, but a loving God. And in our affirmation we say, I am a child of God. I am loved. I am loved. I am loved. I would like to read to you a reflection, a message from the Cosmic Christ to your heart. Come away with me for a while. The world with its non-stop demands can be put on hold. Most people put me on hold, rationalizing that someday they will find time to focus on me. Is that where you are in your journey? Putting God on hold because of the busyness of your life. Jesus, the Christ, has shared with us many, many beautiful words, and I would like to read just a few of them. I am the light of the world. Men crawl through their lives, cursing the darkness, but all the while I am shining brightly. I desire each of my followers to be a light bearer. The Holy Spirit who lives in you can shine from your face, making me visible to people around you. Ask my Spirit to live through you as you wind your way through this day. Hold my hand in joyful trust, for I never leave your side, never, ever. The light of my presence is shining upon you. Brighten up the world by reflecting who I am. By reflecting on who I am, as we relax, let us first make sure that we are comfortable. And now that we are comfortable, let us use one of the greatest gifts that God has given to you, the gift of free will. Let us use that gift now by inviting the messengers of God the archangels and angels who do not represent religion. They represent God, the Supreme. 
They represent love, not fear. And they wish to come to you, and they cannot until you invite them. So let us call on them. Let us call on Kuan Yin, Mother Mary, Magdalena, and our beloved Earth Mother Gaia. Let us call on your spiritual teacher, whoever your teacher is, it could be the Lord Buddha, Vishnu, Ganesh, Krishna, Sri Chimoy, Jesus, Francis of Assisi, little Therese of Lisieux, maybe Brother Gandhi, Mia Baba, Osho Rumi. Call on your masters and invite them to come to you. And now let us begin by preparing you for the healing touch of the Cosmic Christ. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and humble of heart. He also said, Where two or three are gathered in my name, I am with them, I am among them, and he is here, not only in the blessed sacrament behind me, but he's in your heart, he's in your life, and he manifests his presence through the love you share here, the love you share first to yourself by honoring the divine within you, by not playing games with your heart, by taking on board the words given to you and taking responsibility for your spiritual wellness and wholeness. That is the first duty of care to you to care for the divine in you. Let us come to the Master Jesus, who is our brother, our friend, who is our teacher, and who is the Son of God. And let us call on Magdalena, the Divine Feminine, with Mother Mary. And I would like you now to imagine a comfortable scene where you feel safe and loved. It could be in your back garden. It could be resting by an old oak tree. It could be sat by your favorite stream or lake. Just take yourself there and just relax and allow yourself embrace God through nature and allow the animal kingdom God's little helpers, little therapists to come to you. We have Winston here quite content snoring his little heart off and I know Molly is with Sister Miriam there in New Zealand and I know for the rest gathered here, there is a presence with you. The divine is right in front of you. You may not see the divine, but the divine sees you, as do all these little moths and butterflies that are flirting around here with the light. The Divine knows every part of you because the Divine created you in the image and likeness of God. So if God, being a loving Father, Mother, created you, 
Don't they know your needs? Of course they do. But where many fall down in the healing process is that they forever and ever keep asking God for the same request. And that is not what we are guided to do. We are guided to ask only once and then begin the prayer of thanks by saying thank you God for hearing my prayer and for answering it when the time is right for my highest good and the glory of God. Let's not, go, let's not get caught up in mindsets because we live in a world that is so demanding and demeaning, a beautiful world, but so many are on a conveyor belt, rushing and pushing, and they don't hear the voice of their beloved God. They're too busy. Are you too busy? Make time each day to sit in the presence of God and just say thank you God for my life and thank you for taking care of me for I know that what I'm suffering now is in your control and I thank you for bringing a solution and for bringing the healing that I now need. That is the prayer of gratitude and it releases miracles, trust me. So now that we are relaxed and we are safe in the Cathedral of God, nature's garden, with every in-breath that we breathe, we are breathing in the breath of God. And now hold that in breath and now release to our Earth Mother and be still. In our next in breaths, we breathe in the love that God has for us and we hold that love. And with that love, we release any fear anxiety, deep-rooted issues to Gaia. We release them to our Earth Mother and now we relax. And now we continue to breathe to the rhythm of our own breathing. And in the stillness of this moment, position of our soul standing before us with Magdalena and Mother Mary. And they look to us and they invite us to share, to share with them exactly where we are in our journey. What is it that ails us so? They invite us to be specific because they're now asking you, how can we help you right now? We are here to help you. We are here to deliver you from anxiety and fear. But we're here to bless your ailments, your illness, and your journey, but we're inviting you now to be clear in your thinking, and once you have shared with us where you need our help, all we ask of you is to say thank you God, and leave it with us, for we can see the bigger picture 
Maybe there's unforgiveness in your heart. Maybe you're clinging to old ways and are reluctant to let go. Maybe you're insecure. Maybe you feel unworthy of the healing touch of God because of your religious upbringing. Bring this to God right now. When Magdalena comes and prepares you, she takes your feet and places a towel under your feet. And Gaia brings a bowl of spring water from the nearby stream and she begins to wash your feet with such love and you can feel the freshness of the water. Its life-giving properties are already beginning to work on you, empowering you release all fear and reawaken your heart to the mystical love of God. And now the beloved Magdalena, the twin flame of Christ, the high priestess, comes and kneels before you. She takes the healing oil as I have here, over 40 years old. These are blessed oils with grains of frankincense inside. You can see the incense dropping down, very old, very powerful, and it's infused with the Christ Magdalena energy that is used as the mother bottle to provide a few drops in 50 or 60 mils of oil that brings you the healing essence of the Christ. And Magdalena takes the oil and she places it in her hands. And she lifts her hands to God and says, Father, Mother, God, bless these hands and these oils that I now apply to your children, our brothers and sisters. And she begins to gently anoint your feet with the healing rays of divine love of the cosmic Christ. And the moment she touches you, the moment you experience a complete relaxation and an infusion of the Christ light right up through your feet, through your heart, into your mind, cleansing you of all fear and pain, restoring you to wellness and wholeness. And now Magdalena takes hold of your feet between her hands and she knows exactly what you've asked for, which she's now inviting you to tell her again. Please tell me now what ails you so? And now, as you're telling her on her behalf in the presence of Christ, I anoint you in the name of the Father, Mother, God, the Holy Spirit of God, in the presence of Gaia, Kuan Yin, Magdalena, Mother Mary, I anoint you with the blessing of God. Be still and know that you are loved. And now we place our hands over our heart, our beautiful heart, a heart that has been wounded so many times. But feel the love of the Christ and Magdalena reawakening your heart. stay with this and embrace all that you are as a child of God. Embrace
embrace your divinity. From the moment you were born, you are loved. You have always been loved. And now we say our mantra, I am light divine. I am a child of God. I am whole, perfect and complete. And I was born for this, to receive the healing touch of the cosmic Christ in the presence of the beloved Magdalena. Feel their love now. Feel their love flow through every part of you, every organ, every muscle, every tissue. Feel it. Bless it. sense the presence of God, you sense the love in your heart, and there is no fear. Reclaim your lost innocence by allowing your heart become your teacher, the gateway to your soul, the gateway blessings of heaven, the blessings of earth, the blessings of sea and sky, on those we meet this day and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gifts of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon be in your heart, now and forevermore. Amen. 
and with this candle, this holy flame, in the name of the Christ, I anoint you, in the name of the Father, Mother, God, the Holy Spirit of God, in the presence of Gaia, Kuan Yin Magdalena, go in peace, to love and to serve your God. Namaste. Shalom in Shalom. Paxet bonum om shanti. Solo di caritas. Peace. Shalakam naikam. Thank you for joining me. May God reward you. Celebrate your healing now by expressing your gratitude to a loving God who loves you. God bless you.